Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Thanks for joining me for voting video number 343 in the Incredible Mandela Effect voting video series here on the Moneybag 73 channel. Get ready for this, everybody. Please make sure you're sitting down. If you're sitting in your car, please make sure you have your seatbelt on. I'm not joking. I'm serious. If you got a hat, hold on to that hat. I just had an email from Jason. He totally blew my mind. I'm still trying to register this. <laughs> I can't. I'm having a hard time with this, everybody. Do you remember Hurricane Aaron? Do you remember Hurricane Aaron that was on path for a direct hit with Manhattan and the towers on the morning of 9-11? Three hours before it was to hit the towers, it just decided to do a U-turn and head the other direction. I, this even gets more bizarre. Don't go anywhere. You got to see what I have to show you. Watch the path of this thing. Mind you, this was three hours before. So look at part of the hurricane here is just offshore. I never heard of a hurricane that was going to disrupt the planes and what happened on that awful day. I never, ever have heard about this. I've done my own thousands of hours or hundreds, whatever, <laughs> hours of research into 9-11. Over the years, who knows, maybe it's a thousand. I've looked at 9-11 so much and researched it. Listen to this here. Image that I want to show you, and this is one of I think the most breathtaking images in weather history. So this is Hurricane Aaron on September 11, uh, 2001, and what you see is the hurricane there, and then in this box here, that is a cutout of the tower burning, so it's being picked up by satellite. Okay. There. So there's a couple of things here. One what? You got the towers burning here with this huge hurricane, Category Three, sitting right off the coast. That was directly headed towards New York. I, I can't even compute this. What is going on? Please sum this video up. If you never heard of this before, if this was part of your reality and you, you know, you always knew about this, thumb the video down. Do you think this is a Mandela effect? I mean, I can't believe I never heard about this. And the fact that it just decided to turn course just three hours before that fateful day what happened on that fateful day it just decided to you know head head north all of a sudden yes there was a cold front there was rain and a cold front that pushed it you know we have an explanation but how did i not even hear about this hurricane well now it gets more bizarre because let's hear how the weather was on fox 5 the morning of 9 11. Here, here's the weather Downpours, not everyone received the rain yesterday. It was scattered, as we mentioned yesterday, but in a few cases, it did really come down. That was mainly east and southeast of the metro area. Here's the satellite radar picture showing the rain that moved offshore thanks to the cold front. And that cold front, it's a true cold front. This, uh, this day is going to be beautiful, and it takes a while. This day's going to be, hey, hello. You see those outer bands right there of a Category 3 hurricane? You're not even going to mention it? really for the cool and dry air to move in. So tomorrow morning should be a couple degrees cooler and the daytime highs will be even a, a few degrees cooler. All right, our numbers look like this. That's Clear bizarre. I mean, how do you, okay, maybe he knew it wasn't gonna hit, the, hit, hit New York, but I mean, at least you would say, you know, that giant hurricane we've been tracking, well, it's, it's heading away, so we're clear from that. No, I'm just gonna show you these huge bands here and I'm not even gonna mention it. Th look at this, this is even crazier. Always. Always. Beautiful morning here in the Northeast. Let's check the rest of your weather, show you what's going on for today. And you'll see that we've got clear skies throughout much of the country, some showers in the northern plains, and wet weather down in Florida, where they'll be picking up as much as seven inches of rain in parts of central and southern Florida. Partly cloudy skies in the Pacific Northwest. The heat Are you continues. kidding me? Does, does anyone else see this? <laughs> See this huge swirling thing going on over here off of the Northeast? He doesn't even mention it. You got a full fledged Category 3 hurricane right here. And he just says, oh, yeah, pretty good around, you know, weather's pretty good around the country right now. <laughs> Some showers in the northern plains and wet weather down in Florida where they'll be picking up as much as seven inches of rain in parts of central. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I, I just, oh, my gosh. This is crazy. To me, this, this is 
This happened in another reality. I can't imagine. Of course, I could have just not heard about it. I get all that. I know, but oh my gosh. Go create the reality that you want, everyone. <laughs>